Hello, today we'll be going over Kingdom Hearts, a 2002 game released by Square in collaboration with Disney. But no one cares about that. We'll be talking about the story, which opens with Sora, a kid on Destiny Island who wears clown shoes on the beach. It's weird. And his two best friends, Riku and Kairi, along with three other friends of theirs, Titus, Waka, and Shelly. Shelby? Shelfie? Selfie! Selfie. <laughs> Take selfie, like you're taking a selfie. Hey, take, hey, don't mind me, everybody. I'm just taking a Shelby. <laughs> Which is ironically what they call a selfie in Little Mermaid, probably. Probably. <laughs> Along with their three other friends, Selfie, Waka, and Titus. Titus. Yes, Final Fantasy characters. The opening of this game has you running around Destiny Island, a beautiful tropical paradise, exploring the island and looking for items to find a raft with Kairi and Riku to get off the island and explore the other worlds. The first day, you find the items to build the raft and build it. The second day, you find the items to supply it. Throughout this time, you can fight your Final Fantasy friends or Riku to get experience in the game. At the end of the second day, after you've gathered all your supplies, Sora goes off to bed along with everyone else. And then, actual things start to happen. He finds Riku getting consumed by shadows. Sora runs up to Riku as he's just allowing himself to be consumed by shadows and yells out to Sora, Hey, come on, come join me. And Sora does, because Riku is his friend, and why not join your friend being consumed by shadows? I would. Eventually, the two of them are fully consumed by shadows before they can reach out to each other. Then, bam, flash of light. Everything goes white for a second, and Sora's standing there with a giant key in his hand. He has the Keyblade. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, a, a what blade? A Keyblade. The game doesn't explain what it is yet, it just, you know, it's a giant key that you hit things with. Then it's just a key. No. Then it's just a blade? No. What does it open? Nothing. And everything. Maybe. The hearts of man. Well, of planets. Huh. Flash of light, and then suddenly Sora is standing there, giant key in hand. He has the keyblade. We'll get into what that is later. Looking at a normal key, which way do you think Sora's holding the key? Tongs and teeth are outward, or tongs and teeth are back towards him? I would imagine to have the tongs and teeth outward so you could rip through the darkness. You'd be wrong. They're away from everything. He's hitting people with the blunt end of his key. All these shadowy monsters are showing up all over the place, and Sora fights them off with his new oversized key. Looking for Kairi because Riku's pieced out into shadows, because that's what you do when you want to abandon your friends. So Sora fights off these shadow creatures and eventually finds Kairi near a large wooden door. And then, boom! Door explodes, shadowy version of Kairi goes smashing through Sora. Then Sora runs outside to go, what happened to Kairi? And most of Destiny Island's gone, there's this giant shadow creature there. And Sora beats it up because it's a hack and slash fighting JRPG, so of course he does. And then everything goes black. We switch over to a different scene where Donald and Goofy are looking for the king. Oh yeah, this game doesn't just have Final Fantasy characters and original characters, it's got Disney characters. Be prepared for all of the punches straight to the nostalgia in this game, because that's what it does. So now back to the plot. You wake up in a back alley with a dog licking your face. Luckily, it's a nice one, it's Pluto. So now you're going through Traverse Town, and Leon, another Final Fantasy character, finds you and goes, you've got a Keyblade there. And you're thinking, yeah, and you've got a gun sword there, can I trade you? And he goes, na 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 na. While I would love that, yours is much better than mine, and is the key to stopping all darkness and heartless and saving all of the planets. I don't want that sort of pressure. Which, as soon as he said yours is better but still let you keep it, you knew there was going to be a catch. Yeah. Uh, the Keyblade has the ability to unlock the hearts of people and to lock the hearts of worlds. It is also the only thing that can defeat the shadows that we now learn are heartless. They are what happens when a person loses their heart. All these heartless even killing are people? They're hollowed out people. They're the thing that happened after the thing that killed them killed them. 
So zombies. Nope. That, no. That's a that's something that we comes get later. to that in a different part. <laughs> They're heartless. They're a person without a heart. It's That's like, about as clear as it is. You're not killing people. Disney. Disney! So you find out now you have the ability to save all these planets from the horrible darkness that is happening. Then cutscene, and we go to Donald and Goofy with Aerith, looking for the Keyblade. And Aerith goes, well, my friend Leon might know where to find it, and Aerith goes to take you to Leon. Back to Sora really quick, Leon also tells him, hey, I know this guy, Ansem. He's been studying the Heartless. You may want to go find him at some point. And then Sora goes to go outside. Donald and Goofy are walking up. And a giant Heartless shows up and they're like, ah, we gotta fight this now, don't we? Donald and Goofy start fighting it. Sora's like, well, I have this Keyblade now. I guess I'm supposed to save everyone from these things. And goes in to attack it and saves Donald and Goofy's life. So they exchange information, become friends, at each other on LinkedIn. <laughs> so they exchange information and become friends, at each other on LinkedIn, all the usual things. Donald and Goofy go, hey, we have a ship that goes between worlds. Sora's like, hey, I'm looking for my friends and they're not on this world, and you're supposed to find the person with the Keyblade, so we want to go do this together. We can also find your king along the way. Now, during their adventures, they jump through a bunch of Disney worlds, I think, you can heavily pick the order. Halloween Town. Hercules. Aladdin. Tarzan. Little Mermaid. Winnie the Pooh. Neverland. Wonderland. Wonderland. This is a weird world called Alice in Wonderland. It's named after someone in it. Alice. The Chosen One. Ah. Uh, oh, you also go visit Pinocchio inside the whale. Which, the whale, a world of its own. <laughs> He's a space whale. Throughout all of this world jumping, Sora risks his life several times to save Donald and Goofy, and he learns about the Seven Princesses of Light or the Seven Princesses of Heart. We run into Riku a few times, and several villains from Disney franchises. These villains are trying to take the hearts of the world and steal slash kidnap the Seven Princesses of Light. Riku is working with them, and has been brainwashed by them to think Sora has abandoned him and Kairi to help Donald and Goofy. We have sealed away all of the planets we have been to to keep Shadow Darkness, to keep the Heartless from taking the heart of the world. We now find ourselves in Hollow Bastion with Beast to find Ansem and to figure out what's going on. Is Hollow Bastion a Disney movie? Hollow Bastion is a world created for this game. Oh. On Hollow Bastion, we run into Riku again, and he's fully turned to the dark. We have an argument with him, and he eventually steals the Keyblade from us. Sort of teleports it into his hand out of ours. And then is like, yeah, you never deserve this. You were just holding it for me this entire time. Starts to walk away. Donald and Goofy look at you, look at each other, and go, well, we're supposed to call, follow the Keyblade, so bye. <laughs> Later, chump! So after risking your life several times for Donald and Goofy, they're like, ah, yeah, that guy who's been trying to kill us this whole time now has the Keyblade, so we're gonna go join him. Uh, you can have that wooden stick he threw to you, and just try not to die on the most dangerous place we've been so far now that you don't have any of your magic powers or your weapons. Bye-bye. Hey, question. Yes, you in the back? Is Kyrie one of the seven princesses? We haven't gotten there yet. Is Minnie Mouse one of the seven princesses? No. Is Clarabelle one of the seven princesses? Who? Are you a princess? Yes, thank you. So we're in Hollow Bastion. We've, we've got some princesses. No, we don't. We don't got nothing. We don't got a keyblade. We don't got we a keyblade. We, we don't, don't got, got friends. friends. We have a wooden stick. So do you know what Sora does? He picks up that wooden stick and is like, I'm gonna kill Maleficent to the big baddie. I'm gonna give this, this woman some splinters! So Sora runs in to confront Riku, Donald, and Goofy, and his bravery teleports the Keyblade from Riku's hand back to his. Donald and Goofy are like, yes, we got this. Maleficent shows up and they're like, ah, we need to deal with that first. And they attack Maleficent, trying to beat her up. 
then we notice Riku's been possessed by Ansem. Ansem, the main bad guy of this game, it turns out, and not Maleficent. He then stabs Ansem in the heart and goes, yeah, you're going to be a heartless now and fight better to kill these people. Ansem's answer to anything is, darkness is the heart of all things. And also, come, sing me a song. You know, that kind of sounds like it's a Saturday morning thing, like, uh, you know, the Sonic says, Ansem answers. Ansem answers. Chili dogs are the heart of all worlds. All hearts must fade. All hearts return to chili dogs. Well, let's get some chili dogs then. What are we doing here? Ansem has possessed Riku, has stolen the heart from Maleficent. We then have to fight a heartless Maleficent. We beat her. Then we go up to Ansem and it's like, why? Why have you done this? And he's like, I want to unleash ultimate darkness on everything, so I need to get into the Kingdom Hearts, which I need the Seven Princesses of Light to do. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's the Kingdom Hearts? I'm getting to that, because the game's getting to that. I know that one, actually. I can answer that one. What is that one? That one, uh, the Kingdom Hearts is the name of the game. The Kingdom Hearts is the source of all hearts across all worlds. And Ansem believes all hearts at their very core are dark. Like the pit of a peach. And Ansem wants to access Kingdom Hearts, the source of all hearts and of vast amounts of wisdom. To do this, he needs the Seven Princesses of Light, which he has gathered by manipulating Maleficent, who manipulated a bunch of other villains. So, is hearts wisdom or is darkness hearts? Ansem thinks all hearts are darkness at their very core. So then where's the wisdom? It's also behind Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts is all hearts. Kingdom Hearts is the source of all hearts. But he believes there's also ultimate wisdom and knowledge behind the door to Kingdom Hearts. So hearts are produced by wisdom. It's multiple things behind the door. I don't know why you need them connected. Who's on first? <laughs> 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 and this is the night Michael goes missing. Ansem explains that Kyrie is one of the seven princesses of heart, but her heart is missing. And Sora at that point goes, yeah, I don't want you take her heart when you find it again, and I don't want you ending everything, so I'm going to fight you now. Sora decides, no, I don't want you doing this, attacks Ansem, who's possessing Riku, so attacks Riku, knocks Ansem out of Riku. Ansem retreats to the world's end, another uh, made-up spot, but it's basically where all the worlds that the Heartless have been taking the hearts of have been going. Then Sora takes Ansem's Keyblade and is like, I need to save Kairi, stabs himself with it, unlocking his heart, Man, turning himself into a Heartless, but his heart was mixed with Kairi's heart when Kairi went, foosh! threw him back on Destiny Islands, unlocking her heart, returning her heart to her body. Kyrie wakes up and goes, Oh god! Sora, you're dead! And luckily does not pull a Romeo and Juliet and kill herself, but instead goes, You're going to live! And brings him back by just pure stubbornness and will of heart. Then Sora's back and is like, Where'd Ansem go? And then they go to World Ends to fight Ansem again. Um, help? We got this. So, they're back. Sora goes, where'd everybody go? Kairi goes, I don't know. You were a heartless shadow thing. I was confused. I've been unconscious this entire game. I hugged the shadow thing. We were on a break. <sighs> yeah. So then they go to the world's end where there's some giant doors. Behind which is probably darkness because... These are the doors to Kingdom Hearts. And some wisdom. Yeah, that's because wisdom is darkness. And hearts. And some tries to open these, and we go, mm, no, we don't think that's dark. We're going to say plot lines now, and go, this is actually light. And the doors- Taking Ansem, blasting him with light, then Ansem goes away because he was darkness, and darkness cannot stand above beam of direct sunlight. And as far as we can tell, the reason there was light there was because Sora said it, and the door was like, that would be pretty cool, huh? And then does. Yeah, so we get Deus Ex Light, 
And then the door opens up, and we get Deus Ex King, because we find the king. And who's the king? Mickey, because this is the House of Mouse. These were the doors to the House of Mouse the whole time. House of Mouse is wisdom! We're done. And now to wrap up the game, we've got these doors open. Mickey and Riku are on the inside going, Hey guys, we're here. Riku's like, I'm a good guy now. And Mickey is yelling at Sora going, We need to close this door before like all of the Heartless get through. So Mickey pulls out a keyblade and he's like, Wait, other people have this? Other people could have been saving everything? Why was I doing all of this work? And goes, Sora, calm yourself, help me close the door. Me and Riku need to stay on this side of it. So, Sora helps them, the door closes. All of the worlds that were taken by the Heartless just start to leave worlds and then go back to where they're meant to be. Kairi disappears with Destiny's Island, but uh, before that happens, Sora goes, I'll find you again! And then... I'm, going, I'm trying to finish the game. Plot here. Fine. <laughs> And then Donald and Goofy go, well, what are we supposed to do now? To which they look at Pluto, and Pluto has a letter from Mickey, and Pluto just starts to book it. And Sora looks at them, they look at Sora, and it's like, I guess we're chasing a dog now. And then the game ends. That's Kingdom Hearts. Any questions? Yes. If I want to find more information out about Kingdom Hearts, what should I do? Watch more of this stream throughout the month and check at soul and face on twitter for our entire schedule <laughs> just get down real low are we live can you 2002 september 17th of 2002 to be specific yeah, that's fine. Uh, go back down. Oh, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> You've I done a crunch. I haven't <laughs> done a crunch in so long. I feel my bones crunching. God damn it, Michael. <laughs> that's why they call it a crunch. <laughs> Darkness, take me. F*** you! <laughs> Marker. Can I walk back in now? Rolling. <laughs> the island is covered in palpu fruit, which, as far as science can tell, is just a way to become Catholic married to anybody you want. <laughs> oh yeah, just by eating it. Is that nutritious? Very. Very much for the soul. Hey. Hmm. Hey, you want some palpu fruit? You two will be married, and cannot legally get divorced in any country on this world. There's no divorce fruit. Hold up, how many people are on this island? Six. And they're all kids? Yes. How do they eat? It's a tropical paradise. There's fish and crabs and things. It's full of pow proof fruit. Pow we, no. we go about the place gathering food day two. I mean, that's probably true. I don't know where they would get gum from. You can only chew rocks and pow proof fruit. Oh, but it's such good pow proof fruit. You can only get married or scurvy. <laughs> the two largest exports of the Destiny Islands. Okay. And he learns about the seven princesses of light or the seven princesses of heart. There's lust, there's greed. There's Those are wrath. the seven deadly sins. Ah shit. Close though. That's the harem anime I was thinking of. Yes, God. we'll get to harem animes later. That's the next, uh, bit. Kingdom Hearts is a harem anime, you can't change my mind. It is a reverse harem anime, God damn it. Back, to, back on track. I'm gonna love cutting all of this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Solon. No, I, I'm just saying, I'm, gen I'm gonna genuinely enjoy, like, take finding these bits and being like, ha 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 ha, voop. Yep. Oh, no, <laughs> You'll be able to make a whole blooper reel if you want. Nope. Okay. It's gonna make a burn book out of this. Probably. We're never running for political office now. I didn't plan on it. Continue. Perfect. 